As you have already know, before entering Singapore immigration, you must submit the SG arrival card. And most of you has already used the web page version. But what about the mobile app version? Probably not many have used it. With the mobile app version, you can submit seamlessly on the go, and it is great for transit visitors who want to visit the famous jewel at the last minutes. As they can just submit through their mobile and don't have to go through the trouble of taking out their laptop or look for a computer to submit the SG arrival card. So, how to get the app? You can either go to the official ICA website and scan the QR code or just search from your mobile app store or Google Play by entering My ICA Mobile. Once you have downloaded and open the app, you can select the Foreign Visitor option. Then select the Foreign Visitor SGAC option. Next select the Individual Submission or Group Submission if travel in a group. Then select the Add Submission option at the bottom of the screen. For Individual Submission, select the Add Profile option. You will have the option to just select the Scan Passport option to automatically input all the information or you can also manually input them. Once done, select the next option. Next, input all your contact details, like your residence, mobile and your email address. Once everything is entered, select the save option. And now, your profile has been created, and this newly created profile not only can be used for your current trip, but also your future trip to Singapore. Eliminating the trouble of re-entering all the information again for the future trip. In order to submit the SG arrival card, select the arrow icon beside your name. Next, select and enter your period of travel to Singapore. Select your mode of travel and purpose of travel. Choose and select the details regarding your mode of travel. Next, choose and select your address in Singapore. If it is hotel, choose and select the hotel name. Next, choose and select the last city or port of embarkation before Singapore, and also the next city or port of disembarkation after Singapore. If your next city or port of disembarkation after Singapore is the same as per the city before Singapore, you can just check the box beside the same as last city. Next. Go through the declaration information and check the boxes accordingly to your status. If you want to double check all your input information, you can select the available trip option. Once everything is confirmed, select the next option. Go through the declaration information, once everything is confirmed, check the box to agree to the declaration. Then select the Submit option. A pop-up screen will appear, then enter the CAPTCHA shown, and select Verify. Once it has been verified, you will go to the screen, upon successful submission. To view your receipt, select the Go to Declaration Receipt option. Show or scan this receipt, when going through the immigration checkpoint. Click here for more videos regarding essential information about your trip to Singapore. Thank you for staying to the end.